So when you're looking at uh, someone presenting with uh, uh, some complex condition, and it's like beyond the scope of most situations, and, and I think the terrifying words of cancer has got everyone concerned. Yeah. Tell me about what a patient can look forward to if, if they expand their reading, what should they do, what practitioners can help them. Give me a little uh, feedback about that. Yeah, I think this is one of the uh, topics of our age as we see this rising tide of, of malignancies across mm -hmm. all sorts of different tumor types. And I think that we first recognize that um, when you look at identical twin studies mm -hmm. and ask the question, if one twin gets cancer, does the other twin likely get cancer? This is a way of assessing genetic linkage right. of cancer. Uh, that study was done in Sweden, actually, a twin res registry study uh, published in about 2002 in the New England Journal of Medicine. And what they showed is there was no concordance, really, between the two twins relative to their cancer incidence, which wow. greatly suggests that, in fact, I think the article said less than 20% of cancer is hardwired to our genes which means 80% is related to the environment. Wow. Now that environment can start in a, in a in infant, it could start at the moment of conception, and it could go all the way in re utero and post utero right up through our whole lives. So that has to do with exposure to substances, taking away the bad things, giving back the good things. So proper nutrition, uh, lack of exposure to carcinogens and mutagens, um, improving the body's detoxification capabilities to get rid of these foreign substances that we're all exposed to. I think these kinds of concepts are now helping us to understand more about how we really mobilize our body's protection, our so-called cancer protection genes against these inevitable exposures. Then lastly, if, if a person actually unfortunately becomes a statistic and they, and they develop a malignancy, what tools do we have? And I think that the number of tools we have today are vastly greater than they were uh, 10 years ago. We have uh, the ability to pinpoint personalized approaches towards uh, cancer therapy because we're now able to analyze genes of the tumor mm -hmm. to start doing specific therapies and we have ways now using integrated uh, oncology to really uh, produce a, a body system that is more likely A, to fight back against the cancer by improving immune defense and B, to, res uh, to respond favorably without as much injury through the chemotherapy or radiotherapy. So I think integrated oncology coupled with the modern technologies of genomic oncology are really uh, helping to revolutionize cancer treatment.